We are seeing widespread showers start to move back in. Of course, it's all thanks to tropical storm data. If you missed it, that storm did make landfall overnight right around the central Texas coast. And now it's continuing to move inland. As it does, it weakens. It's get, getting that interference with land. So it's quickly going to weaken, and it is making more of that right turn headed towards Houston. So we will see some really heavy rain down in that area from Houston to around Victoria. That's actually where the center is. And then it does continue to march off to the northeast. It is 35 miles northwest of Port O'Connor. That's the location of its landfall last night. 40 mile per hour max sustained winds. So it's a very weak tropical storm. It's barely holding on to tropical storm status as it moves at three miles per hour. It's just crawling up the coast. And we're already going to see it lose those tropical uh, components as we move on into the next 24 hours, producing some rainfall with the remnants as it marches into Louisiana and into Mississippi later on this week. What does that mean for us? It means that today we've got to deal with some scattered showers again. At times, these will be producing some heavier rainfall, but generally light to moderate rainfall across the area. It's going to be very hit or miss, and that's kind of been the trend already this morning. You can see some pockets through Tarrant County, down around Johnson County as well. Somerville getting in on some lighter rain, and as we kind of zoom in, that light rain in Collin County, Dallas as well. It's moving off to the west, northwest, uh, heavier pocket it looks like around Saginaw. But we will see this at least through the midday period, and then it does start to taper off just a bit as we get later on into this afternoon and into this evening. Just a good rule, though, keep the rain gear with you today. Then tomorrow, we are slowly losing any of the rainfall from that, and then we will gradually clear out those clouds as well. Live look from Clyde Warren Park. Looks like the concrete out there is very wet from that overnight rain. Temperatures, of course, staying cool and steady. 66 degrees. Winds out of the northeast at about 5 miles per hour. And we are going to see this very cool temperature trend. First day of fall. This is, this is what we're talking about. 60s for now. And in fact, most of the day, we're going to be in the 60s. Highs top out only near 70 degrees for today with those showers around and then we will, of course, start to warm back up as those temperatures are going to get into the 80s thanks to the return of some sunshine.